Peeps, mm, good evening everybody, but I'm confused, I don't know what I'm going on. I thought I went live just now, um, I don't know what is happening. Um, oh boy, good evening <laughs> You know what, uh, let me give that. Peeps, I trust that everybody has been having a wonderful and productive week. Welcome to Extra Class episode number 131. If you're here for the first time, welcome. Big up to the people them who, you know, the comment section, long time ago, and all of us, I will a reason them up there. I thought I went live about three or four minutes ago, but obviously that wasn't the case. Yeah, that's what I mean. I said, peace. Big up on yourself. Sorry for taking so long to come on screen. Big up to the people them who are there for the first time. You understand? We appreciate that something there. And I realize, peace, we have some good things and some bad things to talk to one about. See, the good thing is that I can stream now. Um, I would have had a rough time of it with Digicel in recent times. Remember, I told you that I would have upgraded my my internet package from 50 up download and 25 upload to 100 download and 50 upload. And since then, I have been having problems. I get dark the other night. I'm going to call them again one final time. I'm tell them to don't give my package. I'm going to make it run out until um, the next cycle when I probably change my service provider. Zane. Um, I ask them. I ask them to also. Well, I never ask them. I tell them to don't give my package. And lo and behold, hold on the peeps. Lo and behold, since they have downgraded, my internet has been working as well as it used to work before. So I go and watch it and see what I go on. You understand what I mean? I say, Sean Bailey TV, big up yourself in the family. Man, I respect you, you. You understand? I hope everything good. You know everything go. You see me? So, peace, that's the good news. You see? And I go big up some people, then I go on the bad news. You understand what I say? So, um, see what I go on here, so. And we asked from early, I could have wired this thing and do this here, so. Yeah, man. You see? We asked to Miss Sophia Kobe, Finar, Ansness, Kerisha Clark. Hey, Kerry, how are you? Shandy Dandy. See, Miss Cameron Dryden. Lawless. Ruth Daly. Nadine Kerr. Sean W. Sean. Ciao. See, Gaza Screech. I deal with you. Dana for new it. DeAndre Small, Greens, Manas in the family, Miss Millicent Thomas McDermott, Charm Lolly, Alex Stewart, Trivian Spike, Omari Bingham, Ramakan, King T, Zane, Natalia Williams, Tamisha Stevens, Ingrid Theater, Andre Edwards. All of the people that were check in from early, big up on yourself, you know, Craig's creation, Manas and respect to everybody, you know. You know, we can't always call all I name them because you don't know anything, you know, enough people about Polly P63. Yeah, so I said, Jaddy, where are you with? So, peace, we pick up some more people. Look more. See, so as I said, the good news is hopefully I'm not have no issue with the stream um, throughout tonight. Tonight, maybe a very lengthy stream. A whole heap of things we have to talk about. You understand? A whole heap of things we have to jam down. Jam around. Jamaica Land We Love. Land of Food and Water. Bob Marley. You see in Bolton. Vibes Cartel. Mike Lewis. Dante Dan. Marvia Williams. See, in Finar. What are you dealing with? Peeps, sad news now. Um, if some people who normally use the super chat icon, you may realize that you're searching for it and it is gone. I wish that was the only problem. Um, I was at work today and I got an email saying that my super chat has been deactivated. See, so you know me pretty email and see what I go on. And one man said, go up on the channel. When I go up on the channel, one big old banner said, your channel has been demonetized. And for the persons who don't know what that means, it means that I am not able to earn from my channel at the moment see so it's not just super chat it's adsense you understand i would have invested a lot of time and a lot of effort and energy and money into building my channel um just to come across um that youtube would have saw um seen it fit to demonetize my channel see and it's not like it's not unique to my channel so i'm gonna play the victim here so cheetah music well, go on peyton place man as i speak in a family um wesley but <coughs> Pateur, blessings in the family. All of the people that may watch from Trinidad, big up on yourself and the man has a respect every time, you know. You see me? So, the situation is that the, 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 the thing said that there is duplicated content on the channel. See, so it is suggesting that I would have used somebody else's stuff. See, and that is something that is very possible, especially early on in the channel's life. You understand what I mean? I, say? Um, I would have probably used... I upload songs to people in the past 
artists where artists, that's why I stop upload songs to you know. So nobody can get me upload no more songs for me channel. Because then that is one of the situation. Zane man, I remember so when them did a look at bus, them link here and say, yo, boom, so teach. Maybe go push a thing for me. So when them copyright them thing now, you understand me and say, your thing suffer. You see me and say, so no man can get me upload for my channel for them. No matter who you be. You understand me, no matter how much money you spend neither. Zane said that I want. So let me get that out of the way. Um... And I, from time to time, would use video clips and, and other stuff to supplement my videos, Zane, and probably a few soundtracks, Zane. So, the possibility would have been there all along that this day might have come. What I would have preferred, though, Miss um, Janet Bird. Yeah, man, the PayPal is back up. <laughs> I have to fix that quick and fast because you don't know anything. Go. Um, the PayPal link in the description down below. You can try it and see if it will work. And thing and thing, I would have done another one today because I never get around to sort out the other one yet. Seeing the Patreon account is still up on them something there. And peeps, this is not even so much about um them things here. As me as I just want to know what the situation is, so I will not be able to earn from the channel for a period of time. They said that I can reapply um to get monetization reactivated on the 24th of February. So that is exactly one month away. And even so then, even if the monetization request application is okay, then I might not start earning until March month and again. I want only for something. But we are give thanks still because I could have lost the channel. You understand me? I say YouTube is a tricky, tricky little place, you know. You see me? I say um, sometimes you don't even know. See, what I would have preferred YouTube to do is that the videos that would have um involved duplicated content them demonetize them video there see in? there are hundreds of videos on the channel that now have not um duplicated content content to me build myself from scratch you understand me i say and what that would have also done is given me the opportunity you see to say okay these are the type of things that they would have demonetized me for so me knowing that the future say um you know they mistake there again you understand me i say so i am willing to learn i am willing to learn from my mistakes and my errors and for me it's not the end of the world yeah i won't be able to earn from the channel for um a period of time hopefully um when me reapply them them fly the gate you understand me i say but it's not like say i did sit down and I live off of youtube slowly you understand? So you know it in go. Um, yeah, peace. So that's the situation. The persons who are in the WhatsApp group had spoken to them somewhat about it earlier. So they are off here with what the situation is currently. Zane and thing and thing and thing. I'm disappointed, yes, peace. But what I go do? I'm not going to sit down and, and make my channel um, stagnate. Zane, I'm going to work the same way, the same effort and energy I'm going to put on the channel before I'm going to continue to put in and probably even harder. You understand? Because with the 90 thousand subscribers, you know, but almost 91,000, you understand? And you know, so we want to push the thing beyond 100. So we still have to put in the work, upload every day, see me, streaming, the regular streaming slots, see me, try to improve the content and the editing and everything until you're ready to earn some money again. You know what I mean? So peace, big up on yourself. Zane, um, create another channel. Creating another channel is, is all well and good in a family, but then you have to go build by that channel from scratch. You understand? Um... I'm not really not into that right now. So I'm going to wall out and see. Me, me, and thing and thing. See, I don't put too much sweat, blood and everything in this channel. If you just walk with friends. So I'm going to wall out and be patient. See, and learn from my mistakes and them something. There. See, if I build another channel, it must be a backup channel. I'm not going to build another channel for focus upon. Unless, unless, see, unless there is a situation where this can re-monetize or not all. You understand what I say? See, so... You know what I think? Um, yeah, peace. So that some of us are left holding them. I couldn't know what I go on. So the people that we are search with it, um, super chat icon, you know, they bought the gun like you understand what I say. And um, when I watch the video, them now, you can watch them without ad interpret interruption. <laughs> See me? So you don't know what I think, peace. Man, as I respect for the continued support, we appreciate that just the same. You understand when I go nowhere with there. See, I'm put in the work, and you know what I think. You see me? Yeah, man. So, peeps, big up on yourself. Sorry for the long talking at the beginning there, so you know, but you know, we have to fix things, quick things. You understand what I said? Big up to the two people that dislike the stream already. Man, as I respect, you know, you know, I appreciate the support, see me. Low key fans, them. 
Yeah, we are post as haters, but we do them our appreciators. You know what I mean? Big up on yourself, you know. See, for the people that like up a stream already, man, as I respect, you know. I stop asking people for like my stream already, you know, because I feel like I never come here come beg people for like my stream. Like, at the least that you can do. You understand what I say? So, if you don't want to like your stream, then you understand what I say. But big up on yourself, say, do you? You see me? Peace. We're ready, you know. A portion of things to talk about in our night. A portion of things. See? Him? And them something. You see me? Um. So I could see how you start the thing, you know. Alright. Then get FIFA about the third stream in a row now I start off with this. But we, we, we spoke about a situation where a 14 year old Central High School student and a 4 year old would have died recently. Um, we are adding, unfortunately, another child to the list, a teen, another teenager. Then get FIFA claimed the life of another teen. See? A 13 year old student of Green Island. In Anova, well, she attends the Green Island High School in Anova, um, is suspected to be the first dengue related death in the parish Zane, for the last 12 months. The student, Leonard Forrester, reportedly fell ill approximately two weeks ago. He died in hospital last Wednesday while being treated for dengue fever like symptoms. <coughs> Zane, so peeps, I mean that sad. So the the, the the student from Central High was a female. This um student from Green Island I is a male. The thing the thing rough. Um the four year old that died, um female. There was a little boy from Saltbar Primary in Saint Catherine Zane. So well, I'm gonna know the things that are weird still. Things that are weird. So it's not just Saint Catherine and Kingston and Saint Andrew and Clarendon um that is at risk. Portland would have would have seen a few deaths as well. Zin and we're seeing a situation now where even the western end of the island out in Anova are dealing with the dengue fever epidemic really and truly. Zin I've spoken so many times um in recent streams about the need and the importance of understanding the situation that exists and taking steps to deal with them. I want to be here in United. Taking steps to ensure that as individuals and as families we we try as best as possible to reduce the possibility of getting the the the, the ailment, the sickness, you understand? So we have to play our part too. See? Um you know sir we have some local more things. North South Highway toll rates to increase. You understand what I mean? Sir? The majority of users of the North South Leg of Highway 2000 will pay more when the new toll rates take effect next month. See? It? So, in a statement on Tuesday of this week, the Minister of Transport said the rates are to go up by an average of 6%. The Ministry did not provide figures. However, based on calculation, um, the increase will take effect on February the 1st and will range between $20 and $150. Now, $20 might not sound like a lot off of the bat, but when you have to use that route twice per day, seven days per week, 30 or 31 days for the month, Zane, or even 20 days for the month, then that, that accumulates. You understand what I'm saying? So that is something what we need to bear in mind for the persons who traverse those thoroughfares. Um, the, the release pointed out that the adjustment fall within the gazetted capped toll rates, adding that the Jamaica North South Highway Company Limited operators of the toll road elected not to apply the full allowable ceiling. Wow, that is supposed to make us feel better. So, them couldn't probably do more, but them decide to say it's going to be between 20 and 100. We're not busy with that. We don't want to increase in the at all. That way I say. You understand? Meanwhile, the ministry says there will be a decrease in the rates charge for the Angels to Linstead section of the highway. <clears throat> While there will be no adjustment for the Cayman as to Angels like. See, so peeps, bear that in mind. If you don't use that toll road there, if you don't know people who use it, let them know what I go on. Um, good evening, Messiahs. How are you? Happy to know that you are okay. You know, I always appreciate the support. I'm always happy when you are here. Um, Ellie London, one one Empress, Lady Clark, God's Creation, Casey, Dennis the Menace, Anna, what's up? Zane, Cookie Mama, one go on. I know I never hear it before because you know, it's after I start discussing it, uh, the comment come up. Um, North Point, blessings in a family. You see me? So, peeps, um, are them things here, go on. 
You know, 2019 would have started not so long ago, approximately what, 25 days ago. Jay, blessings and brother. Is there an easy um easy pass discount for persons who travel the route daily? The route daily. You know, so I'm not sure enough for Father Jay. I couldn't tell you, you know, all honesty. If I tell you a lie, me then I tell. Zin, Omar got you all going, brother, brother. I hope everything good in the family. Miss Joan Gray, how are you? Zin, and thing, and thing, and thing. You see me? So. A minute, the peeps. Do I want thing or so? Yeah, peeps. Ready again now. Daniel Scarlett, what go on Empress? Everything good? Zane, marvelous. We are there with youth. Yeah, man. So, I don't know if there is a, 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 a frequent user discount and thing. I doubt it highly still. I doubt it. Zane, I suppose if probably if you buy a tag, you probably get. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Zane, so I don't want to tell a lie. So, as I said now, many persons would have started 20. Zin, I'm not sure in a diamond clerk, I'm not hear of anything yet because I am not home as in in what you at this point in time. So I'm not really sure what I'm going on the end. I'm not really hear of no um, stories suggesting that dengue is an issue in St. Anne. But it's a possibility, I don't know. See, um, so as I say, you know, many persons would have started 2019 with renewed hope. Seen renewed optimism, new objectives, but we understand a situation where many persons also would have started the year in a state of depression, not knowing how they will move forward or go on and stuff. Seen so much so where we're seeing year to date, a Saint Mary man became the nation's sixth suspected suicide victim since the start of 2019 Zane, so so far this year confirmed well suspected um there have been six incidents of suicide mm -hmm. that's a lot peeps in a 25 days <clears throat> so one every five day basically you see me that is a lot whichever way you're spinning that is a lot Zane, it's me boss lady good evening my friend erica spence blessings so I said Mary Man became the sixth person to have reportedly committed suicide across the island since the start of the year. The man has been identified as 55-year-old Byron Williams, otherwise called Pirate, of Rosen District in the parish. He died in hospital on Tuesday morning after reportedly drinking a substance the previous night. So police reports are at about 8 p.m. on Monday night. Williams was at home when he ingested um, the substance ethylene. I think, yeah, that's the pronunciation. He was rushed to hospital for treatment, but he died about 6.20 a.m. on Tuesday, according to the police. So Williams' death followed Saturday's suspected suicide by 16-year-old Sidney Johnson, otherwise called Shanty of Newton District in St. Elizabeth. See, reports are that about... 9.30 p.m. <clears throat> Sidney was found hanging by the neck from an ackee tree in her yard. And the police are investigating that situation. A day before, Johnson is believed to have taken her life. The body of 78-year-old Ann Simpson was found hanging inside a house in Wildman, on Wildman Street in downtown Kingston. Reports from the Central Police are at about 5.30 a.m. Simpson was found by family members hanging by a length of rope from the ceiling in a room. The scene was processed and the body removed to the morgue. The other individuals to have reportedly taken their lives since the start of 2019 include 29-year-old Nordia Markland from, from Shannon Lloyd Crescent in Clarendon that was on Saturday, January 12th and 39-year-old Nigel Mundell of Spalding also in Clarendon on January 8th. Zane. An elderly farmer, 65-year-old Vincroft, nephew of Rosal in St. Elizabeth, was the first suicide victim for 2019. 
he was found hanging by a length of rope attached to a tree in his community. That rough peeps in a real life, like that really and truly rough because it's a lot of suicide that in a in a that space of time. <clears throat> See? And boy <sighs> things set away. Things set away. Things set away. I'm mean, gonna know it is easy to say them people that eh, boy I mean, I know. I mean, I know. But it's rough. So in whichever way you spin it, it's rough. See me? And thing. Peeps, the depression situation is a real thing. You understand what I'm saying? Many times people around us are suffering in silence and, and we don't know. There are many instances, however, where the signs are are, are there. Zin and thing. But it's rough. You see me? I was thinking about suicide when you mentioned the stories. <laughs> when I, joke, um, there are all general. Oh, go on, brother, brother. I'm going to pass it off as a joke still. Because I don't, don't know if you're serious like that. Um, Father John Crow says, no hope. But, but Father John, um, about 2.9 million people living in the country on a daily basis. So I don't necessarily know that there's no hope. You understand what I mean? I say, you know the old cliche saying that once there's life, there's hope. Me can attest to that still, family. You see what I mean? I say, and you taking your life, that's all, no problem. Nolene, Moncrief, good night, Empress. How are you? It is great to have your support. I'm happy that you have found the channel. I'm happy that you um, decided to tune into the stream. Really and truly appreciate the support. So, please, peeps, um, welcome Miss Nolene. And that's a nice name actually, Miss Nolene Moncrief to the stream. She's a first time and really and truly I appreciate the support, my friend. <clears throat> See? Him? Dante Dan, same thing guy, Chinese food accounts. <laughs> These are, are older people. But brother, you never hear me say on 29 year old involved in it. See? Because you only hear the older people. So I'm the 16 year old um little girl who who, 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 who involved in there. You understand what I say? And things. So yes, some some one sixty five year old elder, one seventy eight year old elder. But there's a twenty nine year old female. There is a sixteen year old. The whole of them, the whole of them, are not, are not, are not elderly brother. See, and so we can't be of like we never realize that and thing and thing and thing. Sanja G, good night, my friend. How are you? No, not how it reads. Was thinking about something that happened years ago. I have children. Can't be selfish. All right, General. I mean, what's it? Oh, blessings, bro. I say I already know. Um, so, Father John Crow, me, me understand say things rough. See, and many persons have it rough than rougher than others. But what kind of what kind of problem you really solve when you do that? You understand? As a matter of fact, in my opinion, my humble opinion, honest opinion, you create more art than 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 anything else. You understand me? I say, warm to the people that you leave behind for more new. Enough love. Zane Teach. Tatiana dead. Um, not sure who enough love is, and I'm not sure in which Tatiana you are referring to. So, if you can provide me with some more information on that, I would really and truly appreciate it. Miss Beverly Coldhurst, how are you? Teach. That too much. The people them need God in their soul. America sneeze, Jamaica cat flu. Well, Miss Kohler is still, I don't understand the, the reference with America, yes or no? Zane and thing. But, yeah, I guess the people them want some help for choosing. Copper Dan! What you did, family? Zane, peace, my, my, my something here is so I move so slow, it's uh, annoying. So, I can't even monitor the chat um, fast enough here, so. Um, I'll close this. Close that. Zane, open this. Boom, put this here, so give me some time a piece. I'm try to balance a little thing, yes, so center, yes, so boom, so right, or something. I don't want that there, so I want to see the chat. Sorry, guys, yeah, man. You know the fellow in him, Gary Gary, look like him, love man like still. But him need for understand, so me not really into that still. 
Yeah, so I may say because and, and I may get this out of here because I know it now. If you want the channel for suspend brother and, and, and the channel and I and why you keep coming here? Zane, brother, like I'm not like man, brother. You understand I'm not my thing that. For your thing that you go somewhere else with it, family. You understand? You, 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 like you have a look gay complex, brother. Yeah man, ready again now peeps. So as me I say, depression is a hell of a thing and, and sometimes people are around us and we not even realise that they are suffering in, 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 in silence and things that. You see me? So we have to see if we can help each other. See? In? See if we can help each other. Be encouraging. You understand me I say a word of encouragement more time. Helping somebody. Going out of way sometimes to help some people. You see me? And thing and thing because the struggle is real, yo. As 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 my brother rap out there said, the struggle is real. You see me? So you know what thing go. So ready again now, peeps. Um, in recent times, I would have addressed a situation where the FLA, the Firearm Licensing Authority, FLA would have distanced themselves from. A video circulating that persons were suggesting was the FLA boss involved in some sexual act that was recorded. Zane, Shaki, good night, beautiful. How are you? It's great to see you. Hope you're okay. You know, we always appreciate the support. And I wake up, Scotty. You answer me, I say, because she probably all asleep, you know. Zane, and thing, and thing, and thing. You see me? So, we have a situation where another video has been circulating. I would have made a passing mention of it recently because all the video they cranny. You understand on them things. I'm not, I'm not really have no time for waste of energy on them things still. But it's a video that was um, that is being circulated initially when the video was released. Um so I'm gonna hang himself then Richie. You understand what I mean? I say? Oh Scott is such a wake up. You see me? Um Persons were saying that it is the shadow spokesperson on national security, Fitz Jackson. Um, it's not Fitz Jackson. Then the story, the, the, the rhetoric changed and it was suggesting that the male on camera was uh, is somebody who is employed within the Ministry of Agriculture. The Ministry of Agriculture has since come out and has distanced themselves from... That statement. Anointed and blessed. Good evening, Empress. How are you? You alright? Good, glad to see you now. Leon Robinson, when you say Brooklyn, New York, in the building, I check in. Manners are speaking now. You see me? So, the Agriculture Ministry reports sex video to the police have made false claims. So, that is what the FLA had done to. They would have made a report to the Cyber Crimes Unit of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Miss Marvia Williams, how are you, my friend? Saying, um, the Ministry of Agriculture sought to distance itself from a video with graphic sexual content circulating online and says it has reported the matter to the Cyber Crimes Unit of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Saying? So in an email um, that was in response to some questions that some people asked, the Ministry said, we ask that you note that the claim that an individual from the Ministry is involved in the video is incorrect. The matter has been referred to the Cyber Crimes Unit. See? So the, mid the video making the rounds on social media shows two males engaged in, a, in sexual activity while being taped. A follow-up post suggested that one of the men in the video is a senior employee of the Ministry of Agriculture. It is the second time in just over a week that, the govern that a government entity see? that a government entity has sought to distance itself <coughs> from a video with graphic Sexual content. As I said earlier, the Firearm Licensing, Licensing Authority, FLA, recently described as malicious a claim that one of its senior employees was involved in an amateur video showing a woman receiving oral sex from a man. The FLA called it a blatant attack on the integrity and reputation of the organization and said it planned to launch a formal complaint to the cybercrime unit. Hmm? So, um, everybody I get involved in a sex video, they you know, look like, say, based on what people are, say, people in a government like. 
You understand? Nobody don't want to feel left out. <laughs> they all right. You understand me? I said. <laughs> See? So you know, peeps. Um. Yeah, man. We say subset agriculture. We don't do that. How we do farm? Of course we do agriculture. What you mean? What you mean by it? You understand what I say? Of course we do that, man. Alex Stewart, what are going, brother, brother? So you know, I don't know I'm to the people on them sex tape. You understand what I say? Everybody want to get a piece of action. And thing. <clears throat> Teacher, I may lose my house due to that attorney. Which attorney, Leon? Um... Jennifer, me have an attorney thing for talk about you know. I don't know if I have to, uh, attorney there to talk about and thing and thing. Zane? <laughs> Disgrace cop, Chucky Brown gets life imprisonment. Farm of farm. Zane? <laughs> See a farm of farm, Scotty, alright. Say a word. See? And thing. Um... Disgraced police constable Collis Chucky Brown was on Friday today, the 25th of January 2019, sentenced to life in prison, having been found guilty of three counts of murder following a near two month trial that concluded last November. See him? Jason, we are dealing with you. See him? We are dealing with you. They know, say, I can't really let you the comment the still in a super see him because you don't know a thing, or even though you kind of clean it up like, but. We try to sanitize the things still, and then YouTube, I pressure the eye thing, so I have to try to keep the thing on a level too. You understand me? I said, so just try to keep the thing clean. You see? Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Yes, Scotty, yeah, that him get, but uh, him, brother, if you did a watch a trial and thing and thing, you then see I saw a thing ahead. And remember, you know, there was a trial after his with about two other, three other cops who, who was exonerated. You understand? Walk Scott Free. Zane, but as the commissioner of police said, uh, Nobody really and truly never testify against Chucky and Chucky testify against himself like. You understand what I mean? Say? So Chucky was sentenced based on his own evidence. See? So the well-known policeman who was a prominent figure in the so-called police death squad um, that stalked the streets of Clarendon from 2009 to 2012 was in fact sentenced to a total of 105 years behind bars. 105 years peeps. However, the sentence are to run concurrently, meaning he must serve 51 years before he's eligible for parole. <laughs> Think I'm going to do an individual video on this. I don't know if later tonight or tomorrow, because I have a next video for the world, Cairo, seeing that one of the brother who, um, Kahira Jones, who was sentenced with Vice Cartel, he too would have been found guilty. You understand what I say? So, um, I could see how that going on right here. And thing, and thing, and thing. Um, Scotty, me need for Adi as a, as a, as a moderator and I chat at you know, because me can't monitor everything myself. <coughs> but me get around to that soon and quick. Yeah, that's what I mean, I say. And thing. Um, shall we there now, peeps? So, the sentencing handed down on Friday afternoon by Justice Vivian Harris, who presided at the trial. Seeing, apart from the three murders, Brown was also found guilty of conspiracy to commit murder and wounding with intent. Seeing? He had beaten another murder charge one year ago. So it wasn't his first um, trial. You know. He was freed. I mean, that's just an empress, but yeah, you know what I think? Uh, you're my sister, so you have to yeah, look after your brother. Want you, who you, man? You understand what I say? And stop going like you want to show off your colors in a crowd. You know, man, man, man. You understand? See? <coughs> when his wife's cartel getting freed, um, Wesley. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> um, like we're watching and see thing going on. Um, NOS 360 reason for the NASA and we are dead family. You see me? Um, Miss Norfolk Grant. Um, it look like Miss Grant is leaving us. I don't know if she's just saying good night or she's saying bye or she says she just reach and thing and thing. You understand? See, where you you want to sell me? <laughs> so, watch me and all peeps. Um, uh, want to know the situation with Chucky Brown still. Um, so, however, it was not twice as lucky for Chucky 
at his second trial, at the end of which he was found guilty of the murder of Damai Gotti Dawkins on the Palmer's Cross main road in Clarendon on January 10, 2009, and the double murder of Dwayne Douglas and Andre Ferran on the Swansea main road, also in Clarendon on December 13, 2012. We're not getting at all of the, the details and the integrity. We have been into that before, seeing but the brother get 100 and odd years. He must have served 51 years before being eligible for a parole. You understand? So right now, he basically get 51 to life. <laughs> Set away still. You understand what I mean? Say? Set away. A thing and thing and thing. Set away. Shandy, what's up, princess? How are you? Ramakan, brother, brother, where are you deal with? You see me? And thing, I say, Palmer's cross is your place, brother. <laughs> but Father John Crow, you want to see the Chucky thing still in the reality is that Chucky is the, is the man who really convict himself still now. Because Chucky is still going to make in the come all video, I'm having on video tape on them something. There. You understand? Then in the come transcribe the interviews. Seen and the man sign one 90 a page document at, at testimony. Then what you think I got happen? You understand me? I say, Johnny H, where are you family? You see me? So everybody else I get to except Chucky, you know. You see me? Because there's no evidence to to prosecute nobody else. A Chucky give them a thing for himself. You understand me? I say, where you say Royal come from everywhere? <laughs> You see me? So, peeps, uh, boy, I'm gonna know. You spread a bed out, you little in there, yeah, sir. You see me, I say, uh, me, I pray, Chucky, take a gamble and him lose. You see me? And thing, and so, I think, go still. You see, in real soldier, 7 9, big up yourself, in a big brother. Man, as I respect you, I'm know, everything good enough. You understand me, I say, you're really out in a real life. Not just a real soldier, but a real soldier, if you get to me, I say, big up yourself, in a big brother. Man, as I respect every time, you know. You know, I appreciate everything, you know, you see me, I say. I'm hope the man enjoy yard like that, you know, cause you don't know, you know. You see me? Yeah, man. Um, <coughs> so Chucky has been sentenced to life in prison. We've seen another situation now where another set of police officers in this case would have been freed by the courts. Cops freed of Trediga Park double murder charges. You understand? Joshua J. N. Baptist. One love. Man, as I respect in the family, Miss Winsome Hudson, how are you? Hope you're okay and impressed. You understand me? I said. I'm not sure if I'm big up MJ from night. MJ, big up yourself, you know, sis. Every time, you know what I mean? Um, so two policemen were on Tuesday acquitted of charges of murdering two men in Tredega Park, Spanish Town, St. Catherine in 2010. And at the same time that the death squad was raining. Just ran TV. No crime TV. Low on it. No sugar and lime TV. What you did, family? Man, I was respecting a Yan's world. Princess, how you doing? I'm not sure if you ever see Yan's World in the, in the stream before. I know Yan's World coming from a post in the videos. Them. I don't remember me seeing the stream before in the Empress. If you have been here before, excuse me. My apologies. But for the first time, I may have forward in. Welcome, welcome, well. I'm going to lose the melody look well. But you know how we sang with your child sing. Big up yourself, you know. Knox Johnson, bless up in the family. Man, I'm not speaking. To all the people that are lucky and are clocking in for the first time. Man, I'm not speaking. You don't know anything. Go. You see me? Slim as for real. Yes, sir. Come with just a come. Come with just a come. And we know on a weather issue, no. Caputo group. Yes, a real soldier for mine, then get a real thing still. You understand? A good advice you give. You understand what I say? And thing. Oh, you did an editor video family. I see a word, you know. I <coughs> have a few for you edit 990, you know, but you don't know anything. You know what I mean? Trevor in spite. Make up yourself, and brother. Miss Latisha Cunningham. TD, any info about the unsound man that broke into the police station? Oh, you know what I say? Um, them, them did have him in hospital I treat him like But we get round to that I will probably talk about that Sunday I will probably talk about that Sunday Because uh, I don't have the information On the top of my head I never write it down in my notes You yeah, understand what I say? And thing and thing So probably Sunday will all raise about it But it's a sad situation The madman walk Well The mentally Deranged Gentleman Walked in the police station Took up a Ballistic vest or a helmet And some police Apparel and, and go out the street and a, a stop taxi man. So if him have if him have like on a drive me out already. Um Rodney James, blessings in a family, man as I respect you know. You know what I mean? Blessings every time. You see? And thing. Um Imagine if a man can walk in and pick up a helmet, a police helmet, a ballistic vest, a bulletproof vest, police clothes. What 
could have stopped that man from acquiring a weapon. And what would have happened if that man had acquired a weapon, go out in the street and shoot some people? See? But Miss Sunning and me get the full detail. Well, me not even sh me probably have it in my script and you never know because so much things in there, so my time will last a pass. You understand what I say? Yeah, man. Um, and things. So, what I want to know formal, formal verdicts of not guilty were handed down for Constable Kenneth Daly and Corporal David Hutchinson after the prosecution indicated to Chief Justice Brian Sykes. The presiding judge and the seven member jury that the case could proceed against the policemen as there was no available witness to the alleged crime. Hmm? The matter has been before the court since 2013, and the witnesses who reportedly gave statements have never been able, despite numerous trial dates. <laughs> Interesting. The allegations against the policemen were that on the night of the men's death, a team of heavily armed policemen descended upon the Brooklyn community in Chediga Park, where they took the now deceased men from the house in which they were playing video games and murdered them in cold blood. Hmm? How can I speak on this? Why are they idiot? So the defense of the accused cops was that they acted in self-defense arising from an incident in Chediga Park earlier on in the same night early on the same night, in which the now deceased men were among more than 20 heavily armed men who set a house ablaze, resulting in the deaths of eight residents of the community. Miss hmm. Colleen, Colleen Wilson, place my two cents, please, for my two cents on the budget tough down situation. We don't plan to talk about that, but I later don't I dance in the moment. You know, when I play them big songs there, you know, early hours I dance. I want me to dance, I want me, you know. You understand what I say? You understand, sir? Before they would draw them tune, they like, you understand? Yeah, man. So, hope you hang around for that, Miss Wilson. Is it? And you might, well, hope you hang around for that. Grace Abel, how are you, my friend? Blessings. Is it? So, now, um, the assailants were said to have attacked the house and later fired gunshots at residents of the community who tried to assist the persons who were burning inside the house. So the defense position was that the police personnel, in responding to the attack on the residents, came under heavy gunfire from the armed thugs who engaged the law enforcers in a shootout. In the aftermath of the reported exchange of gunfire, the now deceased men were said to have been found suffering from gunshot wounds. Yeah? And the accused policemen were, presented, were represented by attorney Valerie Nita Robertson, QC, Peter Champigny, and Kemma Robinson. <laughs> Mel so blessed. I am blessed. <laughs> Big up yourself in the impress. You know what I mean? Peeps. Valerinita Robertson. Queen's Council. See? Peter Champion. Soon Queen's Council. See? Hey man, them have a free like. You understand? From Peter involved, then, then freedom involved. You understand what I say? Boy, I'm in a no still. You see me? So... Whether or not the policemen were acting in self-defense as them say, them free. You know what I mean? I say, the, and the chief justice presided over a case, you know. Brian Sykes, you know. No other than the chief himself. You know what I mean? So, Peter has done it again. You understand? Chavez Edwards. Blessings to my friend. Wah, go on. You see me? <clears throat> yes, I... Mandeville police find firearm in scandal bag. <laughs> the Manchester police are reporting that a 9mm pistol was found wrapped in a black plastic bag. So then a one plastic bag. So him get plastic bag for a pop gun in that. Daryl Vaz, how you there? Then you met a plastic bag that slipped through your crack family. J. Phil, what go on my general? We say big things to 2019 and be and I see a road, you know, where they all give thanks, you know. Small mercies, you don't know a thing. Go. You see me? Let me look on the screen with the glass here, you know, because me hear them. Kanaika Chisame, hey, Empress, how are you? Zane Dexter Fremantle, what are you doing? Where's Peter for your money? <laughs> it's got to be the easy, you know. So, watch you now. So, the 9mm pistol was found wrapped in a black plastic bag at North Race, North Race Coast Course in Mandeville yesterday, Thursday. So, reports from the police are that a premises in the capital. 
town was searched about 9.30 a.m. and the scandal bag containing the firearm found. No one was arrested in relation to the fine. One more gun off high street. You see it? You understand what I say? You know it thing go. You see it? Um, Italian man charged for guns. So it's an Italian job like. Wait, so when find a bag the scatty, <laughs> right now the bag might value more than the gun. <laughs> Wait, so Johnny H, it's a ban on plastic bag, him rude. Yo, the easy, you know. Um, can I, because she's okay, I'm late. I'm not saying I read in the Empress, I really and truly appreciate you finding time for circling on the place, said we. You understand? John Grace, the man, live like a place. Right, General, look like him not hear that. You understand? Because a war, you know, in a place war. You understand? Um. A 56-year-old Italian national <laughs> was arrested and charged in connection with the seizure of three firearms <clears throat> during an operation in Pedro Plains, St. Elizabeth on Tuesday of this week. Kev, what are you dealing with? Man, I'm saying, saying He is 56-year-old Palo del Grande. Palo del. I don't know Italian. Otherwise called Captain. Captain and sailor wrong boat of all war petrol planes. So reports on the petrol planes police are at about 8 a.m. on Tuesday. Lawmen were carrying out an operation in Old Wharf when a premises occupied by Palodel Palodel <laughs> was searched and the weapons discovered. The firearms, one Colt .44 pistol and two other revolvers. Make and model not yet ascertained were seized. You were subsequently arrested and charged. Zane Italian, Italian job, Italian map. You understand? Well, when I come from Italy, I yard him just get grabbed. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Three more guns at half high street. Progress. So, the attorney at last, them. You understand? The attorney at last, them. I really attorney at last them. In our country, I now really learn from Auntie Jennifer, you know. Long time, I you know, Auntie Jennifer, you know. You understand? Marlon Ricky Tall Boss! Zane Teach, how is the lights working out? Um, um, I don't know if you answer the question, because I don't even know who I talk to. You, so. you understand? I say Father Marlon Ricky Tall Boss. You see? Yeah, man. Attorney convicted of fraud in two-year trial. Hmm? An attorney who fleeced a St. Catherine couple of nearly $2 million they paid as deposit on a house has been convicted of fraud after a trial that lasted two years. I don't know why a trial like that means for the last two years. Anyways, you understand what I say? Arlene Beckford was found guilty in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court. Zane, on one count of fraudulent conversion of diverting the couple's $1.8 million down payment to her personal use. Hmm? Four other complaints, complainants, wrong. four other complaints by persons who had accused Beckford of defrauding them were dismissed after prosecutors offered no further evidence against her. So the attorney who had her bail extended is scheduled to be sentenced on April the 17th. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like that something, you know. Why would you find somebody guilty in the court of law and, and then you give them bail before you sentence them? Like, I don't, I don't get that something, I don't, I don't know that thing they work. Well, I guess that because it's probably not a murder charge thing, I understand. See? But a murder... You understand the people them good as sacrifice to save them one point eight million dollars and she thief it like. See? And thing. Oh teach. I am at the dance early. I have to get up three thirty. Now I have to leave and catch up tomorrow. Okay, Miss Spence. Good night. Real and truly appreciate the support and, and get some rest, Empress. See? It's a better she did buried, Scotty. Boy, I mean I know. I mean I know still. So Beckford's conviction, um, so the attorney who had her bail extended is scheduled to be sentenced on April the 17th. You go to see her, so she get um she, she, she pay back the money and, and she good you know. You understand what I mean? And thing and thing. I don't mean I say Ingrid. Um a good look while no minute you know about Auntie Jennifer. You understand? Oh 
<laughs> Father Marlon, big up yourself and brother, brother. First time I see you on the stream, brother, bro. Yeah, that's what I say. Welcome to the stream. We appreciate the support, you know. You know, I don't put up the light, them yet, bro, because the brother will fit, 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 fit put up the thing for install them up there, so you know, sort it out yet. Yeah, that's what I mean, say. So, we don't want to test them out yet. And peeps, Marlon, Rickett, Stall Boss, welcome him officially for me now. Yeah, that's what I say. I'm say, my neighbor, my neighbor for real. General. Big up yourself for the brother. See, you see them Barrett and Lena Scotty. <laughs> Big up, Marlon. Blessings. Say, so, you know, peeps, Beckford's conviction comes 26 months after her fraud trial began and three years after disciplinary panel of the General Legal Council, GLC, ruled that she should be struck from the list of persons authorized to practice law in Jamaica and refund the couple. Hmm? Prosecutors, in outlining the case against the attorney, revealed that in 2012, she collected $1.8 million from the couple for a property they were purchasing in Elton Park, St. Catherine, instead of paying over the money to the vendors. Beckford diverted the funds to her own use and benefit. A liar than a easy, you know. You understand me? I say, and thing, and thing, and thing. You see? Um, Andrew Ramos, where are David, brother? In its decision, which was handed down on January 22nd, 2016, the General Legal Council Disciplinary Panel outlined that the woman, a cosmetologist, reported that after she and her um, fiancé made a down payment in three installments they were told by beckford that the transaction would take no longer than six months further the woman indicated that they had a commitment form from the national housing trust to provide financing for the transaction however the complainant told the glc panel that after their six month wait she and her companion could not get any reasonable explanation from beckford as to why the sale had not been completed and this led them to the NHT. That was when, according to the woman's account, they discovered that Beckford had not forwarded the necessary documents to the NHT to effect the sale. Process. As a result, she said the offer of financing from the NHT was cancelled. What a wicked woman. No? Remember in a piece, the lady who paid on for the house is a cosmetologist, you know? You understand? Turn up in a people here the whole day enough here. I try to push her thing forward in and this liar girl. You understand? Fleece the woman them money. Misappropriate the woman and her, her fiance money. You understand what I say? And they even want to pay about the thing. I tell you, so that's why certain things can't stop in other world, you know. Because a woman like that, you know. Like, like what become of her? You understand what I say? Like, is it. Why? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Leon, I know you have a situation with a whole situation, you know. Um, and thing and thing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure which lawyer still. Zane, I know what did, what did I converse about to one of them. Oh, are the same lawyer? So, yeah, tell me, sir. Um, Beckford, Arlene Beckford, are you a liar, Leon? Let me put on my glasses. What oh, peeps? Imagine, you know, man, you wake up every day, you know. You can stand up on your foot, you know. Hustle, you know. If you buy your house, you know. And you give this woman your money for pay for your house, you know. Zane, I spent five million on legal fees already. <laughs> well, um, I trust that when you win the case, um, they will have to cover up your legal costs, you know, brother, brother. You understand what I mean? I say? So you have to just go and hold it. Yeah, she's the one. Oh, so so you was one of the, um, let me see you now, because I want to look at information the day so early, you know. Because I say here, so. Um, four other complaints by persons who had accused Beckford of defrauding them were dismissed after prosecutors offered no further evidence against her. But hope you're not one of them four persons here, brother. You understand? Come in like you get back your money or you get your house. You see? Erica Spencer, why I say it like that? What you mean? What you mean, Miss Erica? I don't understand what you mean. Zane, I'm hoping for the best. Brother, may I hope for the best for you too in a real life. You understand what I mean? I say, I'm peeps. We are, we, many times we're there, I mean, know many persons who are watching the stream are in the diaspora and not in the country at the moment and are um, thinking about probably acquiring property seen in the country. You have to be careful of which lawyer you choose. You understand what I mean? I say, and thing. 
See? So, Leon, I hope the thing work out favorably, brother. And I hope you are um, recompensated. See? Or you get your house. That's a simple thing. You understand? So, hopefully everything work out. See? Um, have her before the General Legal Council. But, oh, you don't have her before the General Legal Council again when they done strike her off of the, the rules. The role of, of a practicing attorney in the country. Um, I don't necessarily know that the JLC would have any jurisdiction over her anymore, seeing that she has, has lost her license to, to um, practice law in the country. But like, explain that to me, Leon. See? Let me get what you're saying about me. I say no, based on the fact that in 2012, um, or in 2016, she was struck from the list of attorneys who are able to practice. Um, in Jamaica, then what kind of jurisdiction would the General Legal Council now have over her seeing that she's no longer able to practice law in the country and she's no longer a part of the Bar Association of, the, of, of Jamaica? Like, my kind of last right there, so still. Angela Mendieta, good evening, my friend. How are you? <coughs> Um, Spanish surname, hope Spanish, yeah, I guess, or Portuguese, I'm not sure. Um, welcome to the stream, my friend. I did it before she lost it. Oh, but seeing that she would have lost it, you know, bro, like, boy, I mean, I know, I may not get any money now, brother. My hope say that is not the case. My hope say what she do is find a way to repay the money. Zane, Miss Millicent Thomas back there, much so how you gonna know a good one, boy, I mean, I know, Selena, Miss Mac, but I have to just go in faith. You understand what I mean? I say, because you have some reputable lawyers, man. Where, where you have... <sighs> so, peeps, the stream just crashed for the first time tonight. Zane, and I'm mean, going to really love that. I'm going to do a one speed test and see what I go on in a dance. If the current will flow properly, I will need to restring the sound. You know what I mean? And thing, and them's up there. You see me? So. If everything freeze up, it means that the stream would have crashed. Please don't lag off of the stream because someone just lag off, jump in, on just jump in. So just relax, man. You understand what I mean? I say, you see me? I have 300 people on the stream and the thing freeze for 30 seconds. And by the time I come at 3 people, I watch the stream. I mean, I know who grown is. But I mean, I tell her. So, my grandmother grown, you know. My grandmother never grown like that. You see me? So, Father Leon, you know, still, but I see your little brother. I trust and pray, saying that. You will you will get some form of um compensation whether you get your house or you get the money where you pay or something, brother. Because she going to prison now now help you. You understand what I say? So as me I say, hopefully now she within herself, instead of not going to prison, seeing find some way for refund the money where she thief. Cause embezzlement is too good a word for them liars, you know. You understand what I say? Auntie. Boy, I mean I know. Things that are weird, yo. District constable and businessman charge over fake bomb threats. Remember, peeps, Falmouth police, Falmouth courthouse would have been evacuated about two times between August and December last year. Um, halfway through Parish Court, Spanish Town, um, courthouse. All of them courthouse that would have would have closed down because of bomb threats. In, in, in the, 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 the last quarter of 2018. But we see now where the police them would then nab Smuddy. And lo and behold, one of the persons where the police them nab is a police. <sighs> Big up to all of the professional police officers who continue to serve and protect this country with integrity, with professionalism. Them one yeah, them for go. You understand? District constable and businessman charged over fake bomb threats. A district constable and a trillion and a businessman have been charged with creating public mischief over their alleged involvement in several bomb threats in downtown Kingston and Trillani Parish Court last year. So it was the same set of people them when I met the threat them all across the place. Hmm. The police said the investigation led to the arrest of two men. Investigators from the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Branch, CTOC, said evidence suggests that the two men, 53-year-old Cardell Clark of Top Town in Clarkstone, Chilani, and 34-year-old District Constable Jason... I'm going to guess and tell me why Jason's surname. Check something in the meantime. Uh, this freeze up. 
يا انس انا انس انا زين tell me wa 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 jason sir name there the police brother like yeah sir miss win so much so yeah man we have to look at them td zin miss say a fall in name in the world where the man couldn't get the man named jason williams yo <laughs> yo me give up me don't know the name thing me i tell you me don't know the name thing Yes, yeah, Mr. Barrington Hall, what you say? It means Jason Crooks. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes, yeah, son. Ah, oh, boy. So, concept of Jason Williams, I know of Kelly Road, Kingston, too. Yeah, man, I live on Good Road, and I man live on Kelly Road, you know. <laughs> Jaddy H, you family. <laughs> See? Kingston, too, called the courthouses and reported that bombs had been planted within their precincts. Hmm? The police believe that the threats, which occurred on three occasions in August, September and December 2018, were concocted by the two as a ploy to detract from ongoing court cases in which they are involved. Yes, tell about the Williams them Scotty, them not good at all. <laughs> You're such a great friend. Who need enemies when they are friends like you, Scotty? <laughs> Yo! Yo, ah, for Jamaica full of William, Sophia, Kobe, I chew. Yeah, son. Damien White, where I did Big Brother, everything good, sir. Boy, I mean, I know, I need a deed pool in my life. Kai, William singing and I work out, and then me would say, my William's in my name, too, you know. Boy, it's a hell of a burden that for carry teach. Well, at least, me don't think so, nobody, I will call, I will call, prosper. Well, you never know, you know. You understand? Because Steve shall never prosper, you know, can prosper. <laughs> See? Alright. But Father John, you know, we have to just find a way to deal with the thing in the brother, brother, because you want to know, say, we have to live. You understand what I say? I just saw a thing go. Guys, I record if I think I tell I get a brother, I don't really know, you know. You understand? Because with the court system, you never know still. So when the justice system now sit down and analyze the situation, analyze the, 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 the appeal thingy, you understand? I feel them call for me. But me personally, I don't know because them things are technical. One little technicality can, can, can free everybody. One little technicality can make everybody get some more years. You understand? Or a retrial or something. So I don't know, brother. It's it complex. It's not straightforward as many persons who they make you think it's on. You see what I mean? I whole heap of variables at play. A whole heap of factors. You see me? So we just have to wait and see what I go on. This, 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 this term for the courts end in March. So my understanding is that there should be a ruling whichever way by March mountain. I could be wrong, but I think it's somewhere in another region there. You see me I say? And thing. T change your surname to teach me, brother. <laughs> so ready and all peace. I'm gonna finish up that something yeah. So the police believe that the threats which occurred on the three occasions were concocted by the two, the, the businessman and the policeman, because um to, to detract from cases that they had in front of the courts. See? So Cardell will appear in the Chilean on the Paris court. The same court where him say I blow up. If, if he blow up, what do you mean there? Like, you understand him alone, like. Zane on Wednesday, February the 6th. And Williams will appear in the St. Angie Parish court on Thursday, February the 21st. So Ed of Seatock, Assistant Commissioner Fitz Bailey, probably the, 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 we don't know, this police brother is just a good police brother based on him, rep, him in reputation. I don't know who he is in the first light, but based on and CTAC and the results from CTAC, you know what thing go. Zane and um, thing. Father Barrington, I see a road in the brother, brother. Big up yourself, you know, as I came on the thing crash, nonetheless, in the house. I see a road in the brother, we appreciate the continued support in you, you know what thing go. Zane. So Fitzbailey said all threats to the criminal justice system are treated as serious, adding that investigation into two other cases are continuing. See, so I want to take some time out to say well done to the police, well done to the JCF, well done to CETA. Because many persons would then say, yo, not now come out here because Jamaica now have the, the ability to chase phone calls. Like, we might not have the capability of a first world country, but Jamaica, um, we, we have some capabilities, you know. <coughs> Zane, is it being used wisely enough? Probably not, but but it think that as as Baka Bush as some people then think still. So well done to Fitzbailey and his team and thing and thing and thing and, and them people have to come off our street. 
You understand what I mean? So all of the other people that are involved in the thing. Because you can't, we can't reach a stage in our country, man. I call police station and tell them, say, bomb plant in a quarter. It's a joke thing. We don't play that. And then me. Ah, oh boy. Mm. 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 I look at you and come like, you know, you're in a relationship, like, and relationship just now go forward. And <clears throat> sometime along the way, you decide, say, you yeah, get the next track, you feel like, say, the next person got change and then just let it down again, mash up your heart, like cheat by your gear bun and match up your head and then sit in it. You understand? So the relationship you are going on it, you know. You see? And every time I get left like, you understand? <laughs> Yo! No, do Big up to the people that we we remain just now. We really and truly appreciate the patience. You understand? The relationship you now work out for me still. You understand? I think I need to move on, you know. Find somebody that appreciate me like, you understand? I love me for who means like. You see me? <laughs> and peeps. Look. Well, you know what? I forgot to say the real people that were, were loyal to the thing hang, hang around and so I go on. The people that were, were, were gone. Big up on yourself, said this. I appreciate the thing. You see what I say? Mm. And thing, and thing, and thing. Jamaica braces for another plane load of deportees from the UK. See, I would have done this video individually. And thing and thing. You see me? Born winner. Where are you, brother? You're good, sir. Man, I say, I'm speaking to you. You see me? <coughs> and peeps. I saw when the thing freeze up and down, log off of the stream. And till me say, log off of the stream. You understand me? I say, like me, I teach you, but I don't learn. Like, you want to come to school for? Because you look a bit too. Sure. See? So the number of deportees in Jamaica is set to increase by 15 another two weeks. Well, they're supposed to be coming on February the 6th. See? Um, and it is in and around the same timing for mass deportation. They might come from the UK. As in March of 2017, 32 Jamaicans were sent back to Jamaica from the UK. While in March of 2018, some 66 Jamaicans were sent back from the United States. You see me? And thing. Um, the estimated 50 deportees who are set to arrive in Jamaica next month have been booked on a specially chartered flight. Yeah, They will be accompanied by scores of law enforcement officials. And thing and thing. Um, it's a lot of people at one time in you know, the peeps. See, in February the 6th is a mom's birthday and Shandy. Boy, some people now got happy that day they still. You see me? And thing and thing. Um... Teach. A lot of them over here refuse to get their papers. They do not go to the right people for direction. I chew that in a brother, brother. Um, oh, Miss Winston Watson, something for call her. Look more when the stream done like. See, okay, Miss Watson. I think a long time you sent me a message to her. I'm call her later, Miss Watson. My apologies. In a, in a deliberate still, I just, more time, I don't really remember things like that. You understand? You have to just keep on prompt me because I get old to you, man. You understand? So your old brain is as fertile as one of them time there. You see? And thing. So we're there again, we're there again, we're there again. Yeah, so um my thing I'm gonna try to cover that story there in real life. Um my nose are work there and thing, but I'm gonna try to work around it and them something and something. There. Scotty, what may I call it for? Sure. <laughs> Death threats issued after alleged gang leader detained in Manchester. You hear them sitting at paper? Eh? I say if you don't hear them, they sit there. They say, Guyana did it good. They send them back to the US. I guess we and the United States and, and, and Great Britain would have signed some memorandum of understanding that says when they are deport them, we have to accept them. Because you know, we love to sign and sign away with life. Like. You understand what I say? And thing. But the, the, the reality of the things, you know, many of these persons being deported are not hardened criminals. Many of them would have overstayed their time. Many of them would have languished and not treat themselves out and, and, and them something there. See, it is some of them would then left here from 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 them a baby like and them one they make me can understand how do you expect them people to be re reintegrated in the society. You see what I mean I say them people that should they remain where they might come from still. But on the flip side of that you can't go a people place or go on like you want to run a people place. That's for the criminal part that we are talking about. 
You see me I say? You can't go to people place or go like you want to mash it up like. You have to adhere to the rules and regulation. Zane and, and everywhere run like a Jamaica. You see me I say? Because any old thing go on. See, because when you go up an embassy in the line, you have to start being yourself. So you then show you what I go on. See, now we are the humblest people that want to go to the embassy. You see me? Boy, I'm going to tell you. Um, the Manchester police are probing death threats, threats made against civilians following the detention of an alleged gang leader whose name has been withheld of, the, of grey ground see, close to the South Central Highland Town. So grey ground would have been in, 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 in the news many a times. Them, them, them shoot about six people there and four the dead in the in the year there last year when well, them a clean up on ball field and thing people did dead before that grey grown gang this and that head of the Manchester Police Division Superintendent Wayne Cameron confirmed reports that two phone calls were made to the Mandeville Police Station issuing death threats that if the alleged gang leader is not released from police custody there would be killings in Mandeville you yes, see so I think I know peeps from a man a call in and say bam in a court house, the man a call police station. I tell police, say if them not release one man when them lock up, people are going dead. My staff at the CIB informed me this morning, that was on Monday, seeing that two phone calls came in from a male caller making threatening remarks. That if the grey grown gang leader is not released, then they will be killing one person a day in Mandeville. Hold on, you know, I soon come to that something, you know, hold on, you know. You know, see smoke without fire, you know. You know what I mean, say? Teach, did you hear about the chick in Atlanta that got raped on the dance floor? No, you know, brother, brother. You understand? Know, because I don't really keep abreast of the things that we really are going to the States like that, you know, unless a national thing, because so many things are going to Jamaica, brother. It, it's set away, you understand? Know, I mean, say? Teach, I'm from Mandeville and I'm telling you that don't fear them. Trust me. But, but, um, Ruth, it's easy if you say no because then kill a man must say yesterday and today and all on there. I don't know if a them still what a man dead, but if man a call police station and say they're going to kill people, like, then and people are dead, then you know, common sense, so then say probably, probably something. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I'm sure what you know. Zane, he said the police have launched a probe to track the calls and are doing their investigation to find out who made said calls. So the senior policeman is urging residents to remain vigilant. We are advising residents and persons doing business in the town centre to be aware and cautious of suspicious activities observed and notify the police immediately, he said. Cameron said the alleged gang leader is being detained as he is to be questioned in relation to at least five murders in November and December of last year. <laughs> if you ask the question of whether he will be released, the answer is no. Simple. Well done, police officer. Because we are not done with him. We want to question him in connection with a, mur with a number of murders that took place near the end of last year. One murder in November and four in December. The other one in December I'm telling you about. Among the murder in December is the Christmas Eve killing of 22-year-old vendor Richard Howard. Two men were charged in relation to that incident. However, the police theorized that they were that it was a contract killing. We want to question the alleged gang leader in regards to that murder because our workup is suggesting that he may have contracted those men to commit that murder. He said the police will be going after persons supporting the alleged gang leader. We believe that he is being supported by persons out in the community, financially and otherwise. We will be raising the investigation to that level to look at who those persons are, offering him support, and we will be targeting them, Cameron said. So the alleged gang leader was taken into police custody last Friday morning during an operation in Grey Ground. Hmm. Hmm. Man, them called police station and said, if you release him, man, people are dead. Two cops hospitalized after shooting on Pier Lane. Two policemen were hospitalized following a shooting on Pier Lane of Olympic Way in St. Andrew. 
See, so the incident would have occurred on Wednesday about 11.20 a.m. Um, the report said that the officers were traveling in an unmarked vehicle along the roadway about 11.20 a.m. as we did say before. You see, when a man walked out into the street and opened gunfire at the vehicle, one of the officers was shot while the second lawman sustained other injuries during the ordeal. The shooting occurred less than an hour after another reported gun attack in the area. It is said that two people were shot and injured in that incident. So investigators are investigating, I suppose. You understand? You know, police have been on my vehicle from time to time, depending on what they might try to achieve and them something. Else. So I guess they probably know, people probably know the policeman, the man know the vehicle. So they won't fire upon them. Jevon Beckles, man has a respect in the family. Say me the pun. <laughs> Yes, I. Holy but foolish is peeps. Man shot dead at Swallowfield Examination Depot. Think that happened today, you know? The police are shot a while ago. That had an idea. Yeah, you son? Confirmed that a man was shot dead at the Swallowfield Examination Depot this afternoon here. So according to the CCU, which is the Conservatives Corporate Communications Unit, another man was left nursing gunshot wounds in the incident. And the CCU are unable to provide details at this moment. So I guess we'll probably tell them some more about it. Well, that's how the examination they put it. Boy, I'm gonna know. You understand? Westmoreland man shot dead. Detectives assigned to the Savannah Lamar police are investigating the circumstances. So, you know, an obituary report, I think this is a death announcement surrounding the shooting death of 36 year old Jeremy in Ferguson, otherwise called Bobby, at his home in Hudson Street in the town. A firearm and one round of ammunition were reportedly seized after the incident. Reports are that residents heard loud explosions about 9.20 p.m. and summoned the police. On arrival of the lawman, Ferguson was seen with gunshot wounds and clutching a .38 revolver. He was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now, I don't really think so. that revolver is legal like. So, it uh, look like say, Bobby Six Killer, you know, probably they didn't look a thing. You understand? So, we are see what goes on. Delivery man stabbed to death in Trelawney. A man is wanted by the Trelawney police for questioning in connection with the stabbing death of another man in the parish. Dead is 20-year-old Jason Sinclair, a delivery man of New Hope in Troy in the parish. So reports from the Warsaw police are at about 10 a.m. on Monday. Sinclair was driving a scooter motorbike along the roadway when he was stopped by a group of men. Shortly after, an argument allegedly ensued between him and them during which one of the men stabbed him. The police were alerted and he was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Sinclair is now the second murder victim in the parish since the start of the year. Um, cook shop operator Kirk Campbell, 40 year old, was gunned down while on the job in Wakefield District Saturday night. Miss Diane Williams, how are you? Boy, I'm going tell you things that are weird. Here we go again. My dear, yeah, yeah, mama and papa. Yeah, internet again, brother. Internet again, internet again. Well, it better than Friday night, Sunday night. So, I yeah, give thanks to small mercies. Progress, for my money. You yeah, understand? I mean, I spend like. As Marjan said earlier, it's like a Murphy's law. Anything that can go wrong is going wrong. But, boy, I don't know. Miss Williams such a cold in her bed, boy. One, one warm up your pillow there and make your pillow warm up there right? if, if, if you don't have a live type of blanket settings like you understand? So an unidentified would-be robber was fatally shot by a licensed firearm holder on Sundown Crescent, Kingston 10 last night. So according to a report from the police's corporate communication unit, the licensed firearm holder and another individual were walking along the road with about 9 p.m when they were allegedly held up at gunpoint by the unidentified man. <laughs> CCU said a confrontation ensued, during which the assailant was shot, and the lawman subsequently summoned, and lawman subsequently summoned. The man, who is of dark complexion, sim built and is about six feet tall, was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. He was clad in a black pullover, grey pants, and a pair of red shoes. Can't even dress. See? Anting, 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 
So, him try to rob the license for your mother. You see? Him? And he lies to fire him all out. Burn him. Warrior Star! We are need family. We said this channel is the best channel. Enough respect. Manners are respecting the family. You are most kind. You know, we really appreciate the kind words. You know what I mean? You know, them rough times. We need the encouragement, brother, brother. He said the lies to gun all of Johnny H. You understand? Well, the man show off his car. Watch you know. Remember, you know? Them stick them, you know. Remember, so the brother will do the robbery. I try to do the robbery. We only have a gun in the him, and then he make a license for him all to pull and kill him. A gun fool them. Gun mule them. Gun stole them. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well done, license for him all that. Burn him. Why are men? You understand? Auntie. <coughs> would be robber. <laughs> Accused St. James baby snatcher. Offered bail. Zane Melissa Harriet, the woman accused of stealing a three week old baby at the Cornwall Regional Hospital on January the 4th, was offered $350,000 bail with two sureties when she appeared in the St. James Parish Court. So, the 26 year old bartender is charged with child stealing. So, during bail application, Harriet's attorney Martin Thomas told presiding judge Casey Grant that his client had no previous conviction and could report to the Discovery Bay police station in St. Anne. The court was also told that several statements and video footage was outstanding from the prosecution's case file. Seeing so as part of Ariat's bail condition, Judge Grant ordered her to report to the Discovery Bay police station three times per week and advised her to seek counselling as the defendant had reportedly suffered a miscarriage some time ago. Hmm. So she would have lost a child um in the yes peeps so um based on the report it's saying that she would have had a miscarriage some time ago so as me i said look like she probably can't have it she's having difficulties conceiving but me I say, if you want a youth, there are so many children up for adoption in this country. Go adopt a youth, no man. You understand what I say? Adopt a youth, man. You can't teach people them people like that family. You see me? So, I'm sorry if you hear about her miscarriage and things still. But right now, a foolishness to do. You see me? Go adopt a youth, man. You know how much, how much kill his parents out there and get rid of some youths. Adopt a youth, man. You understand? You can't walk around and the WhatsApp need to have live stream. <laughs> you see me? Auntie. Set away, yo. So, you know, the mother reportedly, um, it, we shall we there. So, peeps, you kind of get to that time when my frustration level I get high again, you know, and like, I can't bother for you to do this every minute. See, let me see if I get to my up here first, still. Like, I don't know. Something wrong. Something wrong somewhere, yeah, man. Something wrong somewhere. See I guess I probably have to try a lime for streaming and Yeah peeps, the things start get bad now. See I get 12 megabits per second out of 25. Something wrong somewhere. This come like you run taxi and every car near grown you run out of gas and you have to left the car with the people and I never buy gas and come back. I don't like it. Yeah son. Yeah, I don't like it. And then my taxi well service you know, and, and, and gas in the boy just a broke down like then they make no sense. So right now, I don't know, I don't know. This can, this can continue still. See, this can continue. So obviously downgrading the package is not, was not um, sufficient. So I may may forgot probably do something about it, like something serious. See, um, I don't know. It's frustrating, you know. So I run out of gas, Scotty. I be around, I run out of gas, mommy, because you are going, man. Let me tell you, say, it come like it car loading about every car near grown. Three car lean, so the gas gone on the side, and the pump now pick it up, just run out of gas. That's what I feel. I forgot to try to switch things for real, mommy. Big woman thing, because this is not going to work out. See? Um, these are just point of information, so I don't forget too deep in anything. Jamaica Defense Force now has a permanent base in Montego Bay. So the Ministry of National Security, Dr. Horace Chang, has disclosed that new barracks have been constructed in Montego Bay, St. James to permanently house members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Good move, good move. 
Zain, so you know, Chang said the number two battalion of the JDF, number two, maybe, I don't know, which was previously based at Upper Camp in St. Anjo, will now operate at the new barracks located adjacent to the Sangsas International Airport. See? And thing. So, I said, we no longer have the cost of bringing them in from Kingston and finding hotel accommodation for them at enormous expense. I'll tell the soldiers, normally go, when they go down, so, bombard star. They are now permanently based in Montego Bay. They can now assist the police from here to Westmoreland. Chang said, good move, good move, good move, good move. I like that move, I'm not telling a lie, a good move. You understand? When good things go on, if you applaud good things, if you applaud it, good move. You see me, they want one to clear in that too. You understand? One a Spanish tone. Backside. Zane, so he further disclosed that the JDF Coast Guard would also be playing a more active role in the western end of the island. Long time. Boy, I don't know. I'm slow, sir. Zane, where well, you say live life, Barrington? <laughs> Zane, so the National Security Minister assured residents that their security will not be compromised when the state of public emergency ends on January the 31st. You understand? We don't need to forget him tomorrow. But may I say, I progress that still. I progress that. You understand? So, we now have a situation where soldiers are coming from Kingston to reach a mobby and Westmoreland. Them, they're right there. You understand? So, yeah, good move, good move. Listen to this now, peeps. Listen to this now. That story, I hope say the system no, no crash again. The stream no crash again. Another one. You understand what I say? Listen to this. Pastor convicted of murder of teen lover to be released from prison. Well, them release him from prison already. Because the story is kind of about two days old. Pastor convicted. Pastor. P-A-S-T-O-R. Minister of religion. Man of the cloth. Preacher. Evangelist. Sitting them. Convict. Who was convicted of murder of. Listen to this now. No. Convicted of the murder of teen lover. To be released from prison. Listen to this now, no, peeps. We, we not done it, you know. Because it's not a regular past, you know. You know son? Archbishop of Canterbury. A joke, and a Canterbury still, but it's an Archbishop. You know son? Archbishop Edmund Gilbert. A once prominent leader of the Baptist Church. Who was convicted of murdering a teenager in 2001. Is said to be released from. Stream crash again. But. Driver. Don't stop at all. You understand? We still have stream. Although the internet has stopped. Driver. Don't even itch. Pause the cover and restart it. You understand? Yeah man. And... See him? Yeah, we know said teen um cost tempo is from thirteen to nineteen. We not give the age yet. It's a reason why I never give the age yet. So we don't go and speculate. You understand? Me go drop the thing late. You understand? Stream, be still. You understand? Yeah. Gilbert had its sentence of life reduced for the murder of fifteen year old Robbie and Jer Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah, sorry, it's just the, 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 the paradox kind of striking. Uh, a pastor killed Jeremiah. Mm, can't help but chuckle for that one still. Sansi Amori, how are you, baby girl? Give me with Andre, blessings, you know. Zane, candy diamond. No ruby, no gem. Diamond, you know what I mean? Mm. The pastor killed Jeremiah. That's a 15 year old Robbie and Jeremiah. The irony is striking, yo. His sentence was reduced to 18 years. And so, he has served his time and will be released. Saturday, at tomorrow Saturday, I think I sat there again. I mean, no, yes, sir. 
Remember the last pastor we get released for murder him wife, cut her throat, cut off her breast, them, cut out her intestine and cut out her vagina like. Them did release him early and, and he, he killed one, one next girl. Yeah, so, and a jawbone in him and then he kill himself like. You see? So I don't know if Archbishop Gilbert you know, is a changed man and he's now a real Christian like. You understand? Because he couldn't be real Christian back then time day. When he was a teen lover and him, him, him like a kill people like. You understand? Miss Bernadette George, how are you? See? Yeah man, he was a deacon, but me I say he was a pastor. He was sitting in a church. Right now, if you're going to a church, he's a pastor. You understand? He was a pastor, our friend. So he was as good as being a pastor. You see? It? Pastor, share your money with them. But then beg Father Gilbert for bless his stream, but I can't go trust him like that, you know. You understand? He's good as skilly. You see? Um, this is no favor from the state. But getting released for serving his time as sentenced by the court, said his lawyer. See? Who was not successful in an application made to the court of appeal last year for an early release of his client on the grounds of ill health. You know, business of you sick, you kill the people in pitney. You understand? You know, with their health. Want to the pitney were dead. Yeah? You know, you see. Gilbert is known to be suffering from complications due to diabetes and cancer. Well, one family has suffered through complications of murdering them loved ones, so I don't know still, you understand? In 2006, the lawyer was able to successfully appeal the death sentence on his client, resulting in it being reduced to 18 years. Gilbert was the Archbishop of the Unicorn Spiritual Baptist. First thing wrong with the name of the church. Why the church can't just name church? That is a, why church can't just name where you're going, church. Which church you are going? The church of the Holy Bible, evangelical, something, 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 something. by the time they don't talk, you drop asleep. Why the church can't just name church? We are going to church. You understand? This one if a name thing to kind of show me out, man. See? So he was the pastor, the archbishop of the Unicorn, Unicorn Church. Then sit the wrong friend day one. Archbishop of the Unicorn Spiritual Baptist Church. Unicorn Church. Unicorn Church. Church, you just name church. That's a part of the problem with the church. They spend so much time on name the church, them now spend time and help the country with the problem them and focus on the teachings and principles of Christianity. You understand? Church of the latter day saints and them saints and that sort of thing. Church, you name church, brother. Yo. <laughs> no, no. But alright, you only can't church there. You see, we think superficial for a man and this man are living in a fantasy world. A unicorn. Me couldn't tell him say something that go wrong with it. Unicorn church. If you tell me say yeah, I got a unicorn church, we cannot be friends. Because the church, if we begin with the... Yo, let me move on. Let me move on. Gilbert, the Archbishop of the Unicorn Spiritual Baptist Church in Springs. See? Ah, boy. So he was a pastor when he was convicted for the murder of a teenager with whom, according to court records, he had an ongoing sexual relationship. Hmm? Prosecutors were able to convince a judge and jury in December of 2001 that Gilbert, who was age 60 at the time, had strangled the young girl who was a member of his congregation sometime between January 31st and February 1, 2001. Hmm? Her lifeless body was found after police received a cellular phone call from a male voice on more than one occasion informing them that the body of a young girl was on the top of a hill. So the call was traced back to the Unicorn Church Monday. <laughs> ah boy. 
step bad things meant unique. Bodies of two unidentified men found floating in the Dallas River. They're not unidentified no more. As a matter of fact, they have been found, discovered, to, and they are university students. One was a student at UTEC, one was a student at Maritime. The long and short of the story is that the police are theorizing that they were the victims of a carjacking, as one of them was driving the car belong, a car belonging to a family member. The car... That J, where are deal with brother, brother? Just checking in, but I have to leave by 9.45. Alright, I good look at time in that, brother, man. I good look at time in that. But hope you're alright, you know, and the stream will feel, feel, brother, because the internet are going with a bag of things. So big up yourself, and if the stream stop and I'm gone, I'm gone, just hold on. Big up yourself, that G, man, as I respect. You answer to me, I say blessings every time. Zin, so as me, I say, you know, the, the two youths, one a, a UTEC student, one a maritime student, look like they're my charge, you like, you understand? Them did dip on the road, so police are theorized that the car was, was hijacked and they were killed, thrown in the river, and the car was later abandoned. Say, so, alright, so, so alright, I could do the maths. I could do the maths. I could try to add it up. Hmm? You rob the car, but yet still, you leave the car abandoned after you kill the two youths. Them. Hmm? I can't understand that. You left the car and you, 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 you kill the man for the car. Based on, we assume say that go on, because it might be more than that. But if that go on, you kill the youth them for the car. Then you know, carry the car up one road, go left the car. Wait. I'm gone. More be a security guard killed in robbery attempt. I would have done an individual video on that one here too. In a Migla Montego be the town there. You understand me? I say, Mel, so blessed. If you have to get some mercy, get some mercy to the woman. Because I know night to come down. You understand? <laughs> you see me? So, the video, the police, the, the security umber, um, 63 year old Lloyd Johnson, a private security guard who was employed to somewhere and they look like them trail him and them something. Like. Sir Bell, for there, where are you with family? What brand car was it? You know, I'm not sure, you know, the report. I remember if the report it said that. Because I don't have the report in front of me. But I know I did read it. So that's why I remember it. Yeah, so let me say, and thing, and thing. The internet still like a problem. See? Um, so the security guard, you know, was, was, was ambushed and he was shot and killed. You know, Miguel Amantico be there. People are saying, oh, the police, they have no Why is it one single man, a collect, I will collect money for your cambio? See? So it was a licensed firearm holder because the police didn't find a gun in the vehicle along with the the, the money because after he was open after his car was was shot at first him he, he sped off but because of traffic them 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 chase him and find him zin and thing and thing and he was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead yeah understand but this is my question why is not a armored vehicle with more security at carry money transport money for the cambio See, I'm not knock my slide and I work in my work. But then, you know, the, the country we live in, you have to be more careful. You understand what I say? So, they never get to take the money because by the time they end up to kill him, I'm going to make a man to be a ton him the like. You understand? So, them disappear. You see me? Condolences to the friends and family of the deceased, though. Set away. You understand? But you can't have a one man a lot of money like that. In a reality. See? And thing, and thing. You see me? So I think go. You understand? Derf and got you, you did, brother. Next thing I you know, another senior manager at Petra Jam resigns. <laughs> so the string of resignations at the controversy plague Petra Jam has continued. Ranik Bodram Ford has stepped down as the head of procurement of the procurement unit of the state owned oil refinery. So Bodram Ford, who was second. Um, who was second as team lead to the agency's Six Sigma project, tendered her resignation effective January 23rd. Her resignation was disclosed to the staff notice that day there, the same day. Yes, and so I will them gone. Floyd Greenley, Yolan Ramharak, all sorts of people, Andrew Weekly and the works. So peeps, at a story I made it any stream, I did any stream pan, um, Sunday, I pick it up back here now. 
a third of Jamaican children, 14 year old and younger, are sexually active. So one out of every three people who live in a country under age 14 and have sex. May I broke it down some more. One picnic out of every three picnic and a 14 year old in this country have sex. That, that, that must say right. So that is why I'm in mean, the 33% of Jamaican children age 14 years and younger say they have been sexually active. And half of those respondents admit. They have also contracted a sexually transmitted. Ah, boy. So the findings of the recent HIV and sexual health electronic survey among young Jamaicans came, can be found on the United Nations International Children Emergency Fund, UNICEF, you report webpage. I'm not going to pre it myself, you know. See it? The survey done in November of 2018 yielded almost 800 respondents and spanned all parishes. You know, it's a sample size. And every pit in that country, they ask you. But you know, the selection is extreme crash again. Thing mash again. But what are you again? Peeps, as me I said, if you reside in a Clarendon, Mapen, environs, and your phone and your TV and your computer are a problem. Link up DS Electronics Unlimited and tell him say I teach them send you and him fi go no discount because I teach selling up. Yeah, so let me say DS Electronics Unlimited. Big up yourself in a family. You know what I think you know. Yeah, so let me say yeah man blessings. See, watch you now. So the findings you can't find this. One. Questions asked include this is a question the man. <laughs> yeah boy. Have you ever had sex? Did you use a condom when you first had sex? And have you ever have you ever contracted an STI? 78% say they have had sex. But a breakdown of that number shows that in the 0 to 14 age group, 33% of the respondents say they have had sex. I'm going to get that. I'm going to remember that. Oh, I did work with that. <coughs> In the 15 to 19 age group, which accounts for more youth above the age of sexual consent, 54% admitted they have had sex. <coughs> the figures climbed as the age increased up to 35 and above age court, where all respondents say they have had sex. If you're 35 and you have sex, then, then I mean, you understand. Um, Miss Five, I say, how you feed them like? You understand? So, I hate make them really like one just sex. You understand? See? Auntie. Listen to this now, peeps. I think I'll get dicey now, you know. Eh? 65% of the more than 540 respondents say they use a condom the first time they had sex. 65 not bad, but we wish I did 95. Yeah, sir. 50% of the responded, respondents in the 0 to 14 age group admitted. They did not use a condom the first time they had sex. <laughs> it's a lot of people, you know. You understand? And when they spread that outcast, it, it, think, it, it thinks they are way, you know. You see me? 39% of those polled between 15 to 24 say they did not use a condom during their first sexual encounter. The bulk of the respondents who say they did not use a condom were from Westmoreland. <laughs> the, I want to shut them down and West, they don't sell condom like. If anybody in here will come from West, you can start a business and sell some condom around them place there. Because they now not use them like. So probably, I don't know if you shop them, don't get to sell them. You know what I'm saying? So, portion of them come from Westmoreland. Portion of them come Oh, you do it, Chan. Yeah, man. Sell some, some, some rubbers. I want to have a Jacqueline, but me have a jar for my rubbers, for my rubbers. Sex nice, but the AIDS thing. We make you die like flowers. Die out like flowers. <laughs> you understand? Nobody now give me nothing when I have no cure. I'd rather ride no more. <laughs> so we say. So watch I know. But that is not all. 35% of the respondents say they have contracted an STI. 
Eh? In the 0 to 14 age group, 50% admitted they have contracted an STI. 33% of the respondents 25 to 30 contracted an STI. Followed by 20 to 24 age group, 27%. And 15 to 19, 13%. Eh? Is that the man can look them something here? The parishes with the highest number of respondents admitting to contracting sexually transmitted infection is Westmoreland and Clarendon, Kingston and St. Andrew. I'm not support, I'm not su surprised by Kingston and St. Andrew. Soon. But something needs to be done now at Westmoreland. Because I know condoms sell at Kingston and St. Andrew and Clarendon. Because I buy a condom of them places before. You understand? But something around now at Westmoreland. So the people them from now at Westmoreland. 14 year old girl, 14 year old boy. Boy, I don't know. Things that are weird. So, watch you now. It's sexually transmitted diseases, them, what them say, them catch you now. Hepatitis A and B and C. HPV. Genital warts. Genital herpes and chlamydia, like. You understand? Diamond Clark, them get sex education, but they don't want the education, they just want the sex, you know, see. You yeah, understand? Them left off the education part and just take the first part. The last part and reach to them like. See? Where's a chap down the key and fit? <laughs> Yo! Barrington also right now, I can't feel them. I probably don't have a small because you use a mind and I can't feel them have sex. Can the diamond also buy a condom? Regular man. Do you mean? Condom no self you buy, so I'm not buy it, man. I understand? Condom, uh, our condoms in Jamaica, you yeah, have a silver one, they make it a clinic. But, but back in the days, they know still. A name brand thing there, you know. Slam and Rough Rider and Durex and them sitting there. You understand? Yeah. Skin to skin, wet and wild. Skin. You understand? Enough of them, you know. Enough of them. Try a few still. Long love. You know, when I was a boy, I used to love that, but right now that not work out. A water about you, about you scandal bag. You know, see them band scandal bag. You want, you, you, you are charged having sex using a band scandal bag. That day you can't go to court. Because I mean, come to come laugh after your life. You know what I mean? Boy, have sex with scandal. Scandal bag band. Um, what are you in front of the courts for? Your Honor, you know, I was caught having sex with a band scandal bag. <laughs> so for Edward said me know that. Yeah, me, use, me buy them Them sell Me have my money Me buy them You understand We have needs You understand And we have seeds So we don't want nobody to get breed. You know what I mean You understand You understand Ready or not, peeps So, peeps Youths I know enough of youths I watch the channel Based on, based on analytics you know. A few of the youths are between, 17, between 13 and 17 Watch this channel most of the people who watch the channel is age 23 to about 65. You understand? And then sitting there. So, you know what I think. Youths! Road boy, don't be silly. Put a rub up on your willy. You age a girl around and you don't want to catch it. You understand? Life is nice when you have it for life. Make sure so you're not HIV positive. You dig what I say? Yeah, man. That's what I think. You see me? Mmm. I don't know why you want to know You understand? Thing and thing Sean W, I want you to love me like You understand? Because I don't know why I can buy a condom Condom don't make for sell to me Like me buy a condom and it's a big excitement You understand what I say? Like say, I'm a priest hmm? Or a nun You know what nun means? Sex out there and she not get none Like me not that It's a young youth You understand? Below 23 year old attention span shortage. <laughs> a true brother. And, a, and not only that, it's not a matter of attention to you, know, brother. It's just that them love the excitement. You understand? Them love the gossip and the sus and the negative energy and negative vibes. Just, that's why I say. Them, them will mature over time, man. That's the mature that teaching them will come fine. So, all of them channels that we have some enough subscribers now. I get them when they, you people they get mature and move away, you know, because they might realize that you saw the thing there. You understand what I say? You see? And thing. Shan, because you are fast with me. You see me? And thing. Cookie Mama said, teach a choir boy. <laughs> so, peace. I'm going to wrap up the stream you now. Because it's get long, you know. I'm telling you, tonight it's going to be a long night. Because we have a few more things to talk about. You know. We have Kaira Jones to talk about. The budget situation. Um, 
Wanna well, look at thing. Watch out now, peeps. Man who assaults ex claims she's upset at him for not marrying her. <laughs> so a man who was all before the king's son and sent on the parish court for reportedly punching his child's mother repeatedly in her face. Claims that the complainant was lying on him and was doing so because he told her he was not ready to get married. All of this is because she asked for marry her and I told her I am not ready yet. Damien Green blurted out in court after he was remanded. I be like she had to help me. And she said, and, <laughs> let me read that again. I be like she had to help me. And she said she would do anything to get me lock up. The 36 year old accused who was last year before the court for attacking the 42 year old woman. However, admitted to punching the woman once in her face. The complainant who had taken out a restraining order against the accused was attacked on Chantry Street in Meadowbrook, St. Andrew. Yes, and uptown citizens, them, you know. Since according to, the, according to the police report, on the day in question, about 3.30 p.m., the complainant was on her way to buy food at a cook shop. But all she was married and she had got a cook shop. Man, cook a yard, the lady, man, when Green reportedly saw her and said, Well, go on. But she did not respond. The complainant purchased the food and was sitting down at a bus stop eating. Sitting down at a bus stop eating. My wife like, let hey, me don't know. You understand? When Green reportedly approached her saying, you don't hear me a call you. No, you don't hear me a call you. Yo, you don't hear me a call you. You don't hear me a call you. You don't hear me a call you. You understand? The complainant reportedly told him to leave her alone. And he hit a cap that she was wearing. Uh, probably a visor. Boom. Further reports are that the complainant got up and went across the road. By the taxi stand when Green followed her there and grabbed her from behind. But Green, Green auntie like. The woman said if you leave her alone, make sure you eat her food at the roadside, sir. Well, I don't know. You understand? A toss reportedly ensued and they both fell to the ground. And while they were on the ground, Green reportedly punched her several times in her face. You understand? Green reportedly told the complainer, kill me, I'll kill you. Eh, you have ball for help. I bust me, I got bust up your feet. You understand? So she um she got report the thing and Green was arrested and charged with assault occasioning bodily harm. You understand? If you get charged with being an idiot too, then if you had that charge, you know. Um, Mr. Green, you have been charged for being a damn fool. How do you play? Fool your honor. You understand? You understand? So what you say you now? Um, but in Wednesday, on Wednesday in court, the prior to advancement, um, Green said that he was not guilty for punch of punching the complainant several times. And that he only punched one time because she was biting him. I could have why she didn't just start biting her family. You understand what I say? The man said she hold on to me and my shirt and start strangle me. You understand? And I hold on to her and hug her up. I generally lied to her. And my hand get in her mouth and she bite me. I ask her, please let it go. And, and then I thump her one time, Green said. The complainant who told the court that their relationship ended three years ago admitted to biting Green, but said she needed to stop him from punching her. Boy, I'm confused, I know. I give up. Zane? Boy, Green, boy, I don't know. Oh, the story that I asked about earlier, because I know I probably have it in a taxi man appalled as madman poses as cop. Eh? Some taxi drivers in Junction, St. Elizabeth, said they were shocked to hear that a mentally ill man was directing tra- <laughs> A monster! Yo! Yo! <laughs> a mentally ill man was directing traffic in the era last Thursday. Eh? I'm glad the body no crash, I tell you. You understand? Know you have to take bad things with joking on people. They said, uh, sorry, it didn't crash again, peeps. You understand? Know they said that the police have proven to be incompetent by letting a man of unsound mind get access to the premises of the town's police station and get the chance to steal a uniform. I suppose he was a sensible man. Got thief thing there. Eh? Man, good as all thief gun out of the police station. You understand what I'm saying? 
Me never see him, but me here. And me think that the police them forget blame. Because him just walk in and take up uniform, so one taxi man said. Me surprised right now, because me can't believe how him enter the station and the police them don't know. Me I wonder the same thing to family. See? The man who took the, a helmet, a ballistic vest, and belt from the guard room <laughs> has been identified as 27-year-old Rugella Bent. A man kind of bent still. Bent used to reside in Red Bank in the park with his mother, but left after she became fearful of him. According to information, Yo, more did you sell come direct me, me, me internet traffic, like black good interference and bring in, call in the thing. You understand what I'm saying? See it? Watch out now. So the police, you know, were alerted Thursday morning when Bent was seen directing traffic in Junction. Yeah, you remember direct traffic in a Junction? <laughs> no, no, you have to take bad things back to your peace. If I was a police commissioner, I would have suspended all police to on duty. You understand me? I tell you, God Almighty, peeps, you don't know how that is dangerous on so many different levels. The real madman them in the station, it looked like he only sent some somebody in the station and a madman when they look like. You know, I mean, it's a madman of it. The only thing the general never have is a gun. You know, inspector, they always have one little stick like and then push it on your side. That alone the general never have. I wish I never have me pass by. I mean, every day, I tell you. Yo, yeah. no do. Look, imagine you know, remember the man mentally challenge you know, say a man call all this a line and, and he stop this one and call this one. Then he decides say he no bother and he just go and st- <laughs> And what they wouldn't tell people say do? Yeah, tell you. God does that. Watch I know. Say I know. So Bent was seen directing traffic in junction line. So the corporate communications unit said after the police were called, he was accosted and the items retrieved. He was transported to the Black River Hospital shortly after. See? One driver encountered him said that at first he did not realize it was him. He brought a well dressed like. You understand? Me a driver and me see him a direct traffic. But you know, me not too pre the police them. Me see him come up at my window and say, Good morning. And me say, <laughs> Yeah, Mike, I saw a thing I go and sell the internet and mess up the thing. So, watch out now, peeps. The man said, I drive and I see my direct traffic. Hold on, I protect my eyes with my answer. Yes, I drive and I see my direct traffic. But well, you know, I'm not too pre police. Yes, sir. I see him come up at my window and say, Good morning. <laughs> and I say, Good morning, officer. <laughs> It's after when me hear the man them attack, me realize, say I him, me did a talk to. The driver said. The police said they have commenced an investigation into the incident. And the findings from that probe will determine what further action. No, I don't know. I don't know. But peeps, but a serious level is a serious thing. Me can't help but laugh, but a serious thing. Yo, this is a dangerous situation. The man couldn't take up a gun out of the police station, you know. You understand? The man couldn't cause a portion of college and fear curry in my direct traffic out there, sir. Yeah, you understand? Go through. You know what I said? Run them things more time. Like all that dance. I'm a dance out there and thing. You understand what I said? <laughs> Yo! You funny. I'm not telling a lie. God do. See? Pips! The Gargamel. So I'm going to deal with the Gargamel before I deal with the Kyra Jones situation. So I would have done a video in the week. And we yes, everybody was involved with Fool Scotty. See? Earlier in the week. And um, about... Former professor at the University of the West Indies, um, Robert Lewis, slamming Bojo Bantan, saying, saying he's no Nelson Mandela because Bojo's team is trying to equate it. Mandela's autobiography was entitled, um, saying, The Long Walk to Freedom. You know, that's a Bojo tour, concert, slash everything name. The Minister of Health chimed in and uh, Minister of Health chimed in and uh, said, yo, him disappointed in Abuju because Buju need to come clean with the country. Admit say he was involved in drug trade and use his influence 
Anthony Saman, I talk about Chucky Brown a long time for me. The second story that I talk about. Dank years ago, you know, when the thing I get late, I wrap me wrap up. You understand? We see Carlin Cooper came out in defense of Bojo and thing and thing. The long and short of the story is there are many viewpoints on it. You understand? And, and the comment section have every viewpoint. Some people have said Bojo don't want nobody nothing. Him do the crime, him do the time. I'm going to leave him alone. You understand? Some people have said, oh, Bojo are fake rasta and Bojo this and Bojo that. You understand what I mean? I say? Um, the reality still is I think that Dr. Christopher Tufton have more important things to be focusing on. Then you kill some people in the country. I mean, I say the doc. The, the minister now have the right to talk about the budget situation. That's a fine perspective for the matter. You understand what I say? But you can't really and truly prosecute a man for the same thing. Same not really talk to nobody until him concert. You understand? So I don't necessarily know when he would then talk to people or how he would then talk to people. Zane, so I'm saying not talk to nobody because he might keep everything until he show. And then after him show him the interview them and him do. We don't know what the man could do. You understand? Um the reality though is that it wouldn't hurt either. Because of it be fear, it wouldn't hurt if Bojo can put in voice to the, the, the fight against the illicit drug trade and, and drug abuse and them something. It wouldn't hurt either. You understand? But what I say right now, driver, don't stop at all. You understand? And Bojo, link up. You understand? We now got drink up, but we don't like to press pass the issue. Like, you understand? Now, right now, Dr. Christopher Tufton forgot to dash with some tire with some water and breathe up mosquito like. You understand what I say? Big and serious. We have bigger issues than that minister, you understand? Um, the man still have spend some time with him family, chill out, try to recover and them something. Like. Give him some time. And I like say, him a left the country. You understand what I mean? So, that's my thing. So, we'll wrap up this and on the peeps. Kyra Jones, Kyra, found guilty of 2009 shooting incident. So, Kyra Jones, one of the three men sentenced to life along with dancehall artists, Adija Azim Vibes Cartel Palmer in 2014, was on Friday found guilty of the two... Scotty, I'm not sure with Tuftan. Scotty, I'm not sure with Tuftan, you know. But what I say still is that Dengue will kill me. You understand what I say? Right now, Bojo not kill nobody like. So, D, we don't kill me first, then we move on. You understand what I say? I'm not have a problem with Chris Tuftan. See, my mother said, Tuftan right now, he needs to be tough and mask it eradication. We say, him fix the road. Yeah, him can do no right. <laughs> Alright, Scotty, go live in our road. You understand? Go and go live in that road. You see me? <coughs> Zane? So you know, the High Court Judge Lisa Palmer found Jones guilty of wounding with intent, illegal possession of firearm, and illegal possession of ammunition in the corporate era gun court. And peeps, before I go any further, I am not here to sit and tell you that this ruling would have any implication on cartel's appeal hearing where Kyra Jones is a part of. But, because it shouldn't, because of two different cases. However, a human beings are deal with the thing. You understand what I say? A human beings are deal with the thing, you know. You understand? So, you never know. You never know. Because people are going to say, hey, a long time, this will go on and a long time, they might do this and I do that and them things, you know. As simple as I see this, you know. It might have far reaching implications. You understand what I say? So, watch you now. So, the victim, Sheffield Rodney, who suffered the 2009 shooting, and gave a statement to the police was murdered two years ago at the same premises where he was shot by Jones. Them say lying in the same place twice. It's a geographer, I can't tell them to lie them tell. So prosecutor um Udine Williams had led evidence that on the morning of December 15, 2009, Rodney was approached by Jones, who asked him for asked him for water before attacking him with a gun. Rodney was shot twice but managed to disarm Jones. Who ran away leaving the weapon? Ah, oh, me never know what's this squad. <laughs> that funny. So they must say Kyra got a yard, go beg some water, and by the time they forget the water, him, him brand this a piece and beat it and squeeze off and Rodney was shot twice. So if Rodney gets shot twice and Rodney was still strong enough for this arm Kyra. And then and Kyra run if he got <laughs> I saw a reporter say, I don't mean right. You understand what I mean? I say, see? But after he was, he recovered from the shooting there, he was killed two years later. See me? The investigating officer was Jason McKay, to whom the case was assigned after the original investigator had resigned and migrated. Jones was on bail for the shooting of Rodney when he was implicated in the killing of Clive Lizard Williams, along with Vice Cartel, Sean Storm, and Andre. St. John, Madsus. 
So all four men were convicted in April of 2014 and handed mandatory life sentences. And thing and thing. Detective Inspector Homer Morgan of the St. Catherine South Police said the Gaza gang, which operates in Portmore, should take heed. There are remnants of the gang that still exist, and I hope the second conviction sends a strong message that the justice system works. Yeah, son. So the trial proceeded under Section 31D of the Evidence Act. So even though the man dead, they still can proceed. You understand? So I see what the hearing, the, the ruling I'm going to say you now. The, the sentencing. You understand? Because the man has served life already. So then you can't, I don't know what I'm going to still. But I don't know if it's about that still. I know some people have got twist and turn that and thing and thing. I want mosquito just kiss a neck. I mean, I'm not a mosquito thing right now. I'm a mosquito and a friend. You understand? I don't know mosquito reach in a studio like. I then come in on my pocket. You see me? Mm. So that I situation in Cairo, I think I'm going to do an individual video upon that. See? And thing and thing. So, you know what I think, guys? So, peeps, you are going on now. Um, you are going on. Thank you know, for, for, for holding out. Frustrating as it is it was tonight. See, I appreciate that. See, and the people them were there and, and I ride out the thing. Me, me, more than likely, me, I will go change my carrier, my me, me, me service provider. See, and things. So, I go run out my 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 See, and then my try, my try something else. See, and thing. Ah, oh boy. Ah, oh boy. Ronald, Ronald. Man, I'm respecting the family. So, peeps, you don't know anything, guys. I showed you earlier. Uh, I was showing it earlier, well, showing it earlier again. You don't know what thing. Um, the channel has been demonetized. But we still have put in the work because I pray that I can sort itself out eventually and thing and thing and thing. So we are give thanks. See, you know, we kind of work hard for now to earn the money for a little stretch. You see me and thing. But it thing have to go on. You know what I mean? And I still, still do the research and find out what I go on, read certain things and thing and thing. See, there's no option in, in doing a new channel right now. I am I am able to reapply for a monetization in a month's time. So hopefully I learn some more about the, the, the content on the channel that they say are du reu are duplicated content and thing and, and it's just another word in a road. You understand? See? You understand me I say nothing in life. Not we have been investing we have been investing heavily in the channel for the past year or so you understand and now when a thing look like we can start you understand me i say benefit from the investment you think kind of you understand take a hit but we still have give thanks because we still have the channel we still have loyal viewers and and, and subscribers so, you know we still have to put in the work same quality work you understand nothing less you understand nothing not change not not change the killer yes sir me see him one big up yourself in a radney you know you're doing a godfather you know what thing go you see me so what does i go and hold it Zain, we are going well our meds and we are taking a lesson out of this because everything in life what means you can learn a lesson from it. You know? Scotty, you can't leave a stream and I'm not done stream. What do you mean, guy? I'm not saying guy, you're that little girl. I want to Bill. You understand what I say? And thing. So, you don't know anything up here. So, you are going well out. We talk to you some more. Yeah, man. Big up to the patrons. The people that contribute day in, day out. Whether Super Chat, whether Patreon directly, whether Western Union, whether. PayPal, the PayPal link is up again, peeps. I'm going to start out the cash app next week because right now we have to try eat a food anywhere we can because they don't know anything. Go. You understand what I say? And thing and thing. It's just Murphy's law, natural retalking because you see the thing, I, I misbehave. You understand? The people them who want to become a part of the, the WhatsApp group, the number is in the description now. The WhatsApp group is not a really high good place. They talk a lot in the group, though. But I don't really trouble them more time as long as they behave themselves. But they talk a lot. Like a lot. Like a lot. But big up on yourself. You understand my love for you. You understand what I mean? So I'm going to do this quick and fast. Because the thing still crash. Blessings to everybody who is on the stream. You understand? So all of the links in the thing below. Patreon, PayPal, um, Cash App or Forward, Quick and Fast. Zane, you don't know anything. The number is there. You can reach out to me anytime. You understand? 
Zane just message me, identify yourself, say you want to be a part of the group, me screen you and find out who you be and then we add you. You know what I mean? Because I know everybody, you, you understand? Because some people just know how to Big up on yourself. Zane, I me I say, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have something nice to drink. If you have a drink, don't drive. If you have a drive, don't drink. When you go a roll, if you big old headphone them, load the Bluetooth, headpiece them. You understand? Tap a chat people to yourself, man. And, um... Be alert, observe your environment, pre people. You understand what I mean? If you have to take public transportation, try to travel in a group, but if you can't travel in a group, know the do's and the don't. <sighs> Always follow your instincts. If you feel wrong, it is wrong. Trust no one. I'm here say right now, NOS 360 reasoning. How can I speak on this? Ingrid Theatre, the Royal General, Ken Prosper, Diamond Clark. You know my Diamond Sacks, I can't sing no more because I stream I go crash again. Keita Scott, big up yourself in a sis. Mel so blessed. I am blessed. Z in the Royal General, the place boss. No, yes, boss. Dexton Fremantle, big up yourself in a Sean W. Ali Cat Eyes, Omar Bingham, Spring Garden. Z in Dante Dan, Cookie Mama. What's Cooking Mama? Juggernaut MJ, big up yourself in a. You understand me? I said, DS Electronics Unlimited for all your repairs. You understand? Phone needs, telephone. You understand? Radio, TV. All of them sitting in the washing machine. I don't know. I just say washing machine. But a general. Me a pen in base. Link up. Search. Janet Doherty. Millicent Thomas McDermott. Jennifer Chance. <coughs> Cameron Dryden. Zane Wilson of the building. Natural Reese. Sanja G. Miss Winsome Hudson. Barrington Hall. You know what I think you can't stall. You know what I mean? Um, we shall be there again. Ellie London. Dennis the Menace. Anna Wangguan. God's creation. Zane, all of the people there, I'm going to hear their name, I can't mean, I see it. Ronald Reynolds, blessings to the family. You know what I think, you know? Zane, um, who else is in the building? I don't know, I don't know. So, big up on yourself. Kanaika Chisholm, Junior Lewis, Robert Phillips. Zane, Craig Creations, big up yourself in the youth. You understand what I mean? Peace, big up on yourself. Rodney Bounty Killer Price, if you don't. Come on, Golding, why are you doing, brother, brother? If you don't, yourself in a godfather. Jeffrey Campbell, OC Assassin, OC Agent Sasko. You understand? Big up on yourself. You don't know a thing, you know. I respect our manners every time. Lawless! The man who leave the girls, them brawless. Sean Bailey TV. We are deal with you. You know, the Daily TV. Gaza Nation Viva. Brooklyn not the building. Everybody who watch out of the United States. Big up on yourself, you know. I think, uh, thing crash. Me Sophia Kobe. Peace. So this again, Sunday, 5.30. Make it a date and don't be late. Don't look fit. Get book fit. You know what I mean? Peeps, walk good. Step with Jack. I'm on.